This week, I've been eating some of my favorite Korean foods, Korean fried chicken, some homemade kimchi, and of course, going out to eat because that's one of my favorite things to do. And now that it's getting colder in these winter months, I've been loving just cooking at home, making some cozy meals, and so I hope you enjoy this vlog. So today was raining so hard outside that my mom and I decided to make some kimchi at home and we usually like to do this towards the end of the year when the napa cabbage or the pechu is the yummiest. We actually used to buy our kimchi for the longest time but recently, like the past few years, we've been making it at home and it's so good. Perfect. Usually when my mom cooks like this, I'll just like help her out and be her little assistant. But I made the kimchi myself. I'm going to make it again. Actually, but the yang is not even on. The most important yang number is not on. Do you know? No, but it's on. Oh, what? 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 Every household has their own secret recipe. We put grinded apples into the sauce and that gives it a really good sweet flavor to balance out the saltness and acidity. Just like the tiniest apple. Um, I know some other people like to put in some other types of sweet fruits like I've seen persimmon, also pears in the sauce. Um, so yeah, everyone has their own recipe. But honestly, I think the secret is the fish sauce. Like what kind of fish sauce you use also really matters but one of my favorite things about eating fresh kimchi like this before it's arrived is to eat it with posam so you have the little yangyam or have the kimchi marinade and you put it on some korean radish or mu and if you eat that with the posam it's literally the best thing ever So a few weeks ago, I posted on my Instagram story like a little poll asking people what the best Korean fried chicken is. And now I know that's a very, <laughs> it's a very personal thing. I get it. And I think the top options that I put were like Bond's chicken, BBQ chicken, Bonchan, and what was the last one? Pelicana, Pelicana. And in that poll, <laughs> I think BBQ won. I think that one won and Bonds was a close second. But I also asked if there were any Korean fried chicken places that I left out. And this was one of them. It's called Left Wing in Santana Row in the Bay Area. And I decided to try it out because I'm always down to try new food places. And let me tell you, I already knew I liked this place by the jalapeno poppers <laughs> that you see here. And also the fries were like so crispy, which is my favorite. So we ordered two chicken types. The one on the left is the soy chili garlic, I think. And the one on the right is a sweet spicy. And I usually really like yangnam chicken or marinated chicken. So we got two of those. And this thing came out piping hot. So don't judge me for using a fork. It was literally too hot to touch with my hands. I would normally just grab it and go. And the best part about this chicken was the crispy exterior. You can't really see it well in the video, but this thing had an insane crust on it. Like I could tell that the chicken was still crispy even though there was so much marinade on it. Like look at this, yummy. Both sauces were really good and I'm super happy about finding a new chicken place. So I'll be coming back here for sure. I don't know what I'm wearing right now. Don't mind me. I'm just very cold. <laughs> I got a McFlurry since I feel like there's just so much going on. I don't know why. I think it's like my hormones and everything, but it's just like, oh. <laughs> mm, they gave me a lot of Oreos. Look at this. They gave me so many Oreos. I love Oreo. Yummy. Late night snack. I'm telling you. There's just something about a McFlurry that's so nostalgic. 
This kind of stuff tastes better at night. I don't know what it is. We're editing together. Hello. So it says to fry the rice cakes and instead of using regular oil, I'm gonna use this prugidum. It's basically like a chili oil that gives a nice roasted flavor. So I think it'll go perfectly with this kirim tteokbokki. You can smell it. <laughs> I'm eating this kirim tteokbokki because my mom bought it and it's really good. It doesn't taste like normal tteokbokki. The sauce is quite different. It's more of like a chili, Korean chili oil flavor. I'll show you what it looks like up close. It's like a super oil-based tteokbokki. Mmm! The thing I love about this is that their tteok is actually really chewy. To me, that's very important. There is that like toasty flavor because I added roasted oil. It was kind of addicting. I kind of want to learn how to make the sauce. So you guys can try it too if you want. Oh, I forgot to do that. 
That's what I was missing. Cho miss sucker I was like, what am I missing? <laughs> but it still tastes okay because the yuksu is like flavor. Try the gold bangy mood cheem. It's because of my sauce. Mmm, that's so chewy. It tastes like how you would do it. Everything is spicy today. My mouth is spicy. <laughs> <laughs> 